Uh, Halloween Resurrection came out in 2002 and this is clearly the worst one. It's just, man, the highs of H2O and then coming to this is <sighs> sucks. But anyways, the plot revolves around a group of kids being this reality TV show. Cameras on them and going in to spend one in the Myers house to see who would survive. I guess, cool. It's something different, but the way that they, you know, they do it, this movie is, uh, it's awful. Let's get on with the facts. So apparently there was a legal clause preventing them from killing and Michael for good in H2O. Yeah, Michael could have gone gracefully if they would have considered beheading Michael by Jamie Lee Curtis' character. Apparently, Jamie Lee Curtis told Halloween the East Side Story in uh, quotation marks. There was something in the contract that I said, you can't, you can never kill Michael Myers. He never told me. I said, guys, H2O is, is the entire predicted on the fact that I chopped his head off, so there's no possible way that he could have came back. Not going to stir along the audience again. I spent 20 years of having people go, why do you drop the scissors? Why do you drop the thing? Why do you drop the knife? They go, so, you think he's He's dead and the audience think he's dead but he's not dead is that not good enough for you i went yeah i guess and apparently the dispute ultimately came down to dimension films and the filmmakers wanting to kill michael for good and mustafa akkad very much wanting not to determine akkad actually had the legal right to block them from killing michael damn which had a kevin williamson's sort of introduced this uh, body switch in the very beginning of the movie turns out yes the michael beheading was not michael it was a random security guard that michael crushed his guard's throat so he wouldn't be able to talk place him and it wasn't michael basically and and that ruins H2O quite a bit. The ending specifically, that, that just sucks. And they even mapped out like several potential endings or like possible why he couldn't be dead. But either way, it would have ruined H2O's like ending. And it, it did. It did. I uh, was not happy about that. Six friends were chosen to stay the night. This is going to be fun. The audience will see only what you see. In the house of the world's most notorious serial killer. The broadcast is live, but the house... What just happened? Is his. Oh, oh, Michael. I knew you'd come sooner or later. Halloween Resurrection. Now so Jamie Lee Curtis agreed to return for Resurrection just to be killed off. So when Jamie Lee Curtis, Jamie Lee Curtis, sorry, agreed to be Resurrection, she stated, and when I learned that Michael Myers was still in a dead, I had to come back for Resurrection. I'm really interested in the idea of what no one think fair is not is fair itself. And I want to take Glory to a place where she could look at Myron and say, "You lose because I'm not. I'm no longer afraid of you." I guess at the beginning she's in there for the very beginning and she she dies right. And she's technically not afraid of him no more. And Michael just drops her down. So I guess that's fair. But however, Jamie Lee Stundable told another sort of different story. Quoted, Jamie was resistant to come back. She didn't want to do this final sequel for herself or for her character. To me, it was an oddity that Lori Stroll was able to be taken out so easily. She took it hard. So why did she want to come back? According to HBO's, I mean HBO's, HBO's co-writer Robert Zabia, hope I said that right, it was simply a contractual issue. Indicates that Jamie Lee might have known exactly what she was in for long before Resurrection was even made. Uh, even back when they did H2O contractually, she is said to be in the first 10 minutes of, of the sequel. I mean, she did sign that contract, so even if she didn't want to come back, there would be a lot of legal issues, which is why she probably could paid a lot. I, I think she had paid up quite a bit. She didn't want to come back. If they, okay, you know what? Just throw in there. And she came in for money. So, yeah. So, the reason as to why they had LL Cool J in, the, in H2O and Busta Rhymes. Trick or treat, motherfucker. Man, he is in this movie and he is hilarious, awful, and ruins this movie. But anyways, the reason as to why they had both of these in both of the movies is because both Dimitri Films and Mustafa Akkad had to conduct market research, which indicated African American audience formed a significant portion of the slasher movie base. So they wanted to play that base, and then Gorgia just happened to be transitioning to acting around the time. For Resurrection, they were just trying to imitate their, themselves by casting Busta Rhymes. Freaking the last movie had a rapper and made a lot of money. So the next one needed a rapper too. And you know what? Why not pair him with a black supermodel? Tyra Banks. Oh yeah, she's in this fucking movie. She's just there. Which I'm not, which I'm not playing about, but she's just there. The film at the Mars house emerges from the film The Hero. Musta Rhymes is not the goddamn hero. Trick or treat, motherfucker.
So they had him. This is dog soup. This is why this movie is so bad because Buster Prime's in it. He watches uh, Jackie Chan movies. Like he, he's really into kung fu. Him and Tyra Banks are like the producers of this reality TV show. They're like stuff. They want their money, and whatnot. And then when he goes face to face with Michael Myers, you know, he he, de he decides to fight him with kung fu, and he like beats his ass for a bit. Like it's like what? This is Michael Myers. Like what the hell are you doing, guys? And like they had him say, you know, trick or treat, motherfucker. That line too. Oh god, that's like both hilarious and off at the same time it's like you have this crossover with this rapper just to be like himself well not himself but just to like kind of ruin the franchise like i don't know what they were thinking well, I'm obviously reading this makes sense but man was that a pleasant welcome director rick rosenthal came back he's the one that directed halloween 2 and he's the only person to direct two movies aside from uh, rob zombie and, and the whole franchise so that's pretty cool apparently he shot four different endings and championed the notion of maybe getting cues multiple endings when i shipping different cuts of the film into theaters thus leaving audiences to have to see it multiple times to see all the indie of course it was not very popular when the queue did it which is why home release videos lumped all the indies together oh shit so there's like four different endings or like this one indie but when rick rose thought shot all four indies all combined in one sort of ending okay dimension wasn't interested in opening that kind of warms so you know rose know how to pick an ending and go with it i mean it, it could be cool to have different endings but it, again that was just dimension was not interested in opening that kind of warms like you're opening like a super opening a can of warms and going in a very a slippery slope and it's just it is what it is shit i don't know but the actor who has to scream in the movie quoted i'm quite honestly not that confident in my scream abilities i think i sound like a man i found that sucking on candy does the trick jimmy Lee was kind enough to pass me a bottle of, of vicky's throat spray i also learned that screaming from the diagraph cam motor helps to scream 101 so yeah apparently her scream wasn't good enough so they have her screams overdubbed and i guess this is where they got scream queen jimmy Lee Curtis is a scream queen now but sure i thought that i was just interested they had a replay her screen because it wasn't good enough i will give credit to is that they created the myers house on a sound stage this myers house looks not exactly but at least it looks close to it it looks old and overaged which is what i'll give this movie right halloween 5 halloween 6 they had to change it due to like money issues but man continuity does not matter but one little positive for resurrection um you know myers house somewhat looks the same that's all that's all i gotta say about it resurrection was originally supposed to open with eight millimeter footage into like old myers family home videos with donna Ke uh, Keegan's son playing Ma Young Myers. However, it was cut because, as the directors put it on DVD, to humanize the boogeyman was to perhaps the rob the dark, to rob the dark, malevolent side of him, and to take away some of his powers. Instead, we got the opening of, you know, what we got, the disrespect and death of Jamie Lee Curtis. It was going to be a sequel featuring Josh Hernett's HO character, hunting Michael to avenge Laurie's death, but instead, they got the Rob Tom remake like five years later, so no one would have been interested in that, honestly. Plus, Josh Hernett was more busy with some things, right? I mean, he was a young guy young and an upcoming star so probably want to do different things other than like slashers and horror in general so there were many titles considered for the movie including halloween the homecoming but the producers one i told that said michael myers is live so the film was officially dubbed you know halloween resurrection the film originally set for release of september 21st 2001 but wanted the film to be stronger so the reshoots took place from september to october 3rd 2001 really seen them in 2002 oh i gotta put katie sakov is in this movie i don't know if this is her first movie but it's cool go sing katie sakov i love her and basically anything even in the flash when she's an amulet in black that character is ridiculous and whenever she is there it's probably like one of the worst flash ups but i like her as an actor she's good producers consider daniel harris to come back who played jamie lloyd for a resurrection but nothing ever came to fruition she did eventually come back later on oh i find this to be interesting originally the executives of miramax wanted to continue the friendship by creating a whole new story which didn't have michael myers in it after the last film similar to halloween 3 season of the witch however poor results through fan websites because that's always great to see prove that the producers the fans wanted michael myers to, to return again and they got it they freaking got it with resurrection yeah they got it with the resurrection that's what fans wanted talk about the movie itself clearly it's not good i'm not a fan of it i don't is it awful or bad like thinking about it now i remember god it's awful but is it is it awful or bad let's see so yeah again we open with that ridiculous jimmy Lee Kermit scene then we meet our very generic characters katie saka off the dubbed over what of overworked overworked girl the scream queen and all these other characters who i don't care about because they're very generic they're just there to die basically this feels like a generic slasher with reality tv show it has basically nothing to do with michael myers or halloween i think that's my biggest biggest issue with this movie this movie doesn't feel like a halloween movie it feels like michael myers is just there and he's in another movie it feels like a crossover movie and that's probably the biggest issue one by one 
they get killed off by him there's like a, a, a stud double actor who's dressed as michael as, as well okay this is one scene okay this is goddamn one scene where he sees michael Myers. he's face to face michael Myers in his costume he tells Myers to go away and then Myers goes away so michael obeys like human like what i was really dumb see i don't know if that's just michael clearly not being scared but maybe just buying his time that's never explained but yeah one by one they keep dying and then you know we keep seeing tower banks dancing around with her big booty and Busta rhymes just learning kung fu from dragon chan movies and then you know we meet the final girl and her one guy or whatever okay so another priestess how dirty the house looks I thought that was really cool and it looks very dirty so yeah we get to that ridiculous awful but also hilarious moment trick or treat Motherfucker. At the same time, where there's fire everywhere, you got Buster Rhymes saying trick or treat, motherfucker, saying, you know, doing some kung fu stance against Bongo Myers. Yeah, he gets some hits on him. He like kills him and defeats him. That's like the biggest crime. Having Buster Rhymes not only beating the movie and ruining it, he's getting close to Michael Myers and then defeating the main sort of identity or, or something that fans love, which is Bongo Myers, the thing that they love. And for so it pissed off a lot of Halloween fans. It, it really, it really did not gel well with audiences too and just not just not halloween fans but kind of a big turn off for for everyone it ends with like you know what if he's still alive you know that's the thing i'm obviously gonna mention this the background shots of him learning in the background again this is the thing i'm gonna mention in every goddamn video he's in it for like everything basically which is awesome that's the most consistent thing about the whole series but other than that i ain't got much to say about this movie i mean it's clearly here at the bottom is it uh, hmm i'm deciding whether it's bad or awful i don't think like there's some enjoyment like but Buster Rhymes is awful, right? But there's still so much seeing how ridiculous this character is going up against Meyer. It's just man i don't know i really don't know it's hard even the horror movie like this i don't know but overall halloween resurrection is bad i don't think it's awful it was an awful movie i wouldn't enjoy those awful moments but it's awful enough to a point where there's some moments where it's hilarious also a bit fun. i will give it that okay i will give it this movie the mask is the same too this is the eyes thing is popping out i, I don't like it that about the mask at all please fix it which is they do in the next movie which is going to be on the 29th we start the rob zombie movies first the first one coming out in 2007